Good morning, YouTube. Today is day four of the lion diet. We're still in the carnivore phase of our diet and we're gonna get into the lion phase on week two. So we're getting really close. A Little bit of a rough night because I dropped low blood sugar, which as you guys know is not fun. So I had to have some orange juice. And now I know that today we're gonna be lowering my lantus intake, which is one of the things that the carnivore diet or the lion diet does. One of the benefits that they talk about in a bunch of articles and so far I'm seeing this to be true. And we'll see if that stays to be true for the next couple weeks and I'll still have to continuously lower my lantus. Another thing is that I worked out yesterday. That could be a part of the reason. And yeah, so I'm gonna go jump in the shower, I need to wash my hair, then we'll do my morning routine, I'll drink some tea. It's 8.30, I got Chester here. Look at this big cutie, look at this big cutie. Big... What are we eating today? Well, I have some baby back ribs I can cook, which I might cook, we'll see. I'm at least cooking a pound of ground beef, for sure. Anyway, let's jump into the episode. This is day four, carnivore, feeling groggy, but I do have the mental energy, it's just from you know, not getting the best sleep. So maybe I'll feel a little bit better after we do our morning routine. Who knows? Let's see. So on days I don't get a lot of sleep or a good sleep, that is, I try to take this. It's called Three Brains. Basically, it's just a supplement. There's all kinds of stuff in here. It's actually five pills and it's supposed to help your gut health, your brain health and your heart health. And that's what I'm going to do. And I take this maybe once a week, you know, unless, like I said, if I get super bad sleep, maybe two or three days in a row, then I will take it more religiously. But just one night of bad sleep, let's take some of this. Hopefully it will help me get out of my funk today and get going. So let me go ahead, take some of those. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. moments later okay doing pretty good just did some editing and I'm gonna be putting together a couple clips and then like I said I'm gonna run some errands today but I just had a conversation with a good friend of mine he's doing a bike ride across America right now something that he said that really struck a chord with me was that I should talk a little bit more about why I'm doing what I'm doing which is the carnivore diet and filming the entire thing and obviously I'm gonna do other things on the channel that are health related but one of the things that I've had to overcome or at least go through is type 1 diabetes. So I got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at 16 and I don't really talk about this on my main channel, uh, Investing with Rue at all. I just kind of keep it at the back of my mind, you know, this is just something that I've had for a while and one of my big missions in my life has always been to reverse, at least potentially reverse or get as close to reversing type 1 as possible. And if and I've done something very close to that at one point in my life, which is very dangerous and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. And I wrote about it a little bit in my book. If you guys don't know my book, um, I can link it for you guys if you guys are curious, but if you don't care, whatever, you know, I'll put it, I'll put it in the comments if you, if you wanna go check it out. But it's a book on health and some of the things that I found that were interesting to me that not a lot of people talk about in the health community or focus on. Again, it's not a big read. I think it's like 90 pages, very, very short book, but I do talk about my story and my diabetes journey that I've had to have multiple, in my opinion, multiple midlife or quarter life crises with. This is why I'm doing carnivore. This is one of the reasons, and you know, I, I'm a big believer in trial and error, and I am a big believer that humans don't know everything. No matter how much science has progressed, we still have so much to learn about the human body and what's possible. So that's just a little bit about why I'm doing this and just to push other people to experiment with their own selves and seeing what their bodies can do. And if you wanna know more about my story or anything like that, uh, feel free to ask me about uh, diabetes or anything um, down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next clip. A few minutes later. As I was running errands, I had a few other things that kinda of came across my mind about diabetes that I wanted to kinda of share with you guys, hopefully. Maybe it's relatable, maybe it inspires some of you, but just something that's on my mind. Uh, diabetes for me, type one especially, has been one of the most challenging things that has occurred to me in my life. This June marked my 10 year anniversary with the disease, at least being diagnosed. I don't know how many years I went without it being diagnosed, but it is one that traditional science or traditional medicine says that we cannot reverse with diet or exercise, but only with stem cells or maybe other 
futuristic sources. I, I haven't shared this with a lot of people and only a small percentage of people in my life really know this, but I've had you know, multiple near-death experiences because of diabetes or due to diabetes. A lot of those had led me to trying things on my body that most people would avoid. Like I did a 72 hour fast, I did keto before it was even keto. It was referred to as the Atkins diet back in the day. I've tried paleo, you know, now I'm doing carnivore, but it has led me down this rabbit hole of treating my body differently than I was while I was growing up. And many of us neglect our bodies in many ways. And one of the craziest things for me is actually being able to remember, you know, some people that get type one, they get diagnosed very early on and they don't remember what it's like to just have a normal life. And unfortunately, I think it's unfortunate that I do because it makes it that much harder to kind of come to terms. I mean, I'm still constantly trying to come into terms that I have diabetes. It's the same reason why I don't want a pump, you know, attached to me because I don't want it to be a part of me, right? And that's, I think, why I set out on these journeys where I try something very, very difficult and put my body through these stressors to see what will happen. And um, it's, a, it's a big part of why I decided to do carnivore or the lion diet, you know. And although I don't like this disease by any means, and many days are very difficult, like today, for example, I don't know if you can see this, I'll pull it up on the screen. But as you can see, my blood sugars all day have been very, very high. And having high blood sugars is like, at least for me, like somebody ramming into me. Everything's a little bit foggy. It's hard to focus, uh, no energy. If I sleep, I feel worse. Just, just a lot of very bad symptoms that come with that. And then also on the other end, if you drop low, which also happened if you watched my series so far, you know, it's, it's a common occurrence. Sometimes you can go weeks or months without having a low and then you can have three lows back to back to back. Right? It's a very difficult disease and I think having more awareness around it would help people um, and that's why I wanted to include this in today's vlog. It's a little bit more eye-opening because it's just been what's on my mind. And to be honest, this disease has allowed me to see what food really is versus what most people consider food to be, which is, you know, how is it going to nourish my body versus what most people look at food is how does it taste? Does it taste good? If it does, I'm gonna put it in my body. Obviously, there's some good things to that, meaning I will probably live a healthier life and hopefully a longer diabetic life. And, you know, maybe I can get close to, you know, living the same lifespan or even longer than most diabetics. That'd be great. And, you know, I wanna be a grandfather and I wanna see my great grandkids if I can, you know, at some point. I'm not even a father yet, so <laughs> slow down. But those are all things that, you know, I wanna experience. And one of the things that, for example, you know, a lot of people will judge you when, let's say you go to parties or events and, you know, you don't end up eating the food that they have out because it's, you know, unhealthy or junk food. And, you know, people will place judgments on you. I mean, I've, I've, I've seen it, you know, I've had this disease for 10 years, I've seen it. And one of the things that I, take away from it is focus on you focus on your health you know and don't care what other people think especially if you're making choices that benefit your health who cares what other people are doing really we all have a journey you know in our personal lives in our careers and also in our health and so hopefully you take this message to heart and know that some days it might feel difficult you might wake up and you might end up having some crazy disease and that you, you know, that you have no control over or have very limited control over. And, you know, sometimes you just take it one day at a time and take what you can from it. You know, there are things that you're going to be able to look back on and be like, wow, I'm actually grateful, you know, for some of those things. And then other things that you're going to be like, man, I, I really miss those things. And it's going to make you appreciate the little things. And anyway, not to ramble on, but it's been my life journey so far to be on the precipice of looking at new technology and looking at new ways that we can heal our bodies. And some of these ways have been around for thousands of years and that's my goal. I'm not a scientist, I'm not a biologist, so I can't go into the lab and create beta cells, but what I can do is experiment with my body. And maybe through that experimentation, I'm able to find things that might help others. And so I'm gonna close this video out. I'm gonna show you guys what I ate for dinner and just leave you with those words. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this today's vlog. I wanted to be really, really open with today's vlog. So far, the diet is going well. 
Um, like I said, I just feel really groggy today, but this morning and up to the noon o'clock-ish time, <laughs> I felt really good. Um, and that is when my blood sugars were actually good. Um, and then since about 1 p.m. when I ate my meal, it went up to 200 and since then it's been pretty high and that's when I started to feel this way. And so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.